Hello, hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And the title of this video is Why Weak Men Can't Handle Rejection for Women. Before I get into that, let me say here, you know, um, again, I'm all about helping men and women become the best they could be. Not just in dating relationships, but in health, wealth, and mindset. You know, so I want to let y'all know this channel isn't just for me. It's for y'all too. Woo. But for y'all who are, are new or, or who have been here for a while, definitely um, subscribe. Hit that notification button. And if you just want to support me or if you like my videos, hit the like button. I definitely appreciate it. You know. So let's get back to this topic. Why weak men can't handle rejection from women. Very important topic. Very important uh, thing that we must discuss here. Because a lot of men are afraid of rejection. A lot of men don't even want to approach women because of rejection. You know what I mean? Um <laughs> I actually got a bonus here too for you guys here. I just now remembered one, a good uh, reason. But it's just like, wow, men today are really, really afraid of rejection. You know, and, um, you know, we got to understand why or how come and what to do to overcome it. Because at the end of the day, you want a relationship, you want to have maybe friends with benefits, casual sex, you got to talk to women. You know what I mean? There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You got to talk to women. And you're going to get rejected. You know what I mean? So we got to get you weak men turned strong so rejection is not an issue for you guys anymore. So now let me get started here. So the number one reason. Weak men can't handle rejection. It's one-itis. A lot of men get stuck on one woman. And if she rejects them, they think it's over. They might have thought this woman was the most beautiful woman they've ever seen. She was friendly. She was smiley to them. And they thought she, they liked, that she liked her. She liked them. you know. And because of that, they put all their emotions, all their mind into this one woman. And whenever... You know, she rejected them. It's like, man, it's like, I can't, there's no other women out there for me. They were so focused on her. They thought that she was the one. And now that she, re she rejected them, they feel like it's over. There's no other woman out there. So they, they just, uh, uh, have resigned themselves to being lonely and not ever talking to any other women because that one woman rejected them, you know? So, <laughs> It just kind of is what it is. Some some guys just get like that. They just get stuck and they are stuck, you know, and they don't want to get out of their own way. So, um, yeah, that is the first reason. Second reason, lack of options. You know, if you already don't have a lot of options, you know, um, rejection hurts a little bit worse. You know, it hurts a little bit worse when you don't have options and you feel like, hey, you know, I wanted this girl so bad, you know, and she rejected me. So I'm not going to go through that again. You know, I already don't got options, you know, so I'm going to just wait until I get my money up or get my status up or whatever it is to compensate for your your insecurity and in dealing with the rejection, you know. So if you don't have options, it's like, wow, you feel like, what are you going to do? Another rejection to add to the list, you know what I mean? And instead of being the strong man and being able to work through that and build yourself up, but not for the woman, but for you, you know, you say, hey, you just want to give up, you know? So lack of options is huge for why weak men are afraid or can't handle rejection from, from women. Uh, number three reason, <sighs> very, 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 very important, low self-esteem. Some guys just can't handle it. It just hurts them too bad. 
because of that low self-esteem, it makes them feel bad about themselves. So they don't even want to, you know, go back out and, and do it. You know, they get tired of the rejection. They leave it alone. You know what I mean? They do not want to handle that that pain anymore. You know, that, that low self-esteem is just, it's too much. And the rejection just add to it too much. And they just say, hey, you know, they think they're better off being alone. You know, so low self-esteem is huge. And in addition to that, fourth reason, um, scarcity mindset. If you feel like you've been rejected over and 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 over over again, you probably feel like you will never be able to get a woman. So you rather focus your 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 mind power and your energy on things that you feel will be productive for you. You feel, oh, this one rejected me. You know, maybe you approach a woman once a month. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's enough time for you to kind of get your mind on it. But you know, then it's like, ah, oh, you rejected. You got rejected again. You just feel like you'll never be able to get a woman. You know, you're just destined to be alone. You know. You gotta as a weak man, that's that's something that's gonna really fester in your mind. You gotta be able to turn that around. You know, what I mean you gotta be able to turn that around. That is crucial. Because if you don't ever turn that around, obviously you won't ever be able to get a woman. You know what I mean? Or if you do, you have to pay for it, or it's gonna be very low quality woman who will disrespect you and you will be miserable. You know what I mean? So we want you to be able to get high quality, beautiful women. Who, who love you, who submit to you, who, who, who want to be around you and it, who deserve to be around you, most importantly. You know, so very, very important there. And then we have last but not least the reason weak men can't handle rejection from women is because they are not putting in the effort. Very, very simple. Weak men don't put in the effort. Because again, their mindset, they've been, you know, uh, rejected so many times. Maybe they, they just, again, they might approach a woman once a month, if that. You know what I mean? And they think that's enough to be able to get a, a quality woman. You know, they don't understand that you're going to get rejected more than you will get the women you want. And even if you get a woman, you go on a date, there's no guarantee it's going to go anywhere after that. You know what I mean? So it's like they are not willing to approach even five women a week, ten women a week. I'm not even talking about a day. I'm talking about a week. Because I understand, me personally, I couldn't approach, unless I'm out and about at a club or a party or somewhere where there's a lot of beautiful women. I know I, I can't even approach like 10 women, 10 women a, a day. You know what I mean? You know, so, and again, it's, it's not just approaching women. It's approaching women that you actually like, you know? And again, if you're not willing to put in that effort or anywhere you're at, approach women that you like, you know, you're, 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 you're just not going to be able to get the woman you want, you know, and I get it, you know, it could be scary getting rejected, you know, and, 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 and it, it could really defeat you at times, but you got to be able to push through because if you don't put the effort in, you're not going to be able to get the woman, you know, so I actually have a bonus. The bonus is, and it's, it's fairly legitimate if you don't know how to read the signs, but it is Me Too movement. Some guys, they 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 approach the woman, and they are afraid of the rejection because they don't want to be Me Too. <laughs> they think if a girl rejects them too harshly, or if they you know get rejected, maybe that woman might also, in addition, call the police on them. You know, and again, it's it's pretty crazy. You know, because if you look at the signs. Obviously, Me Too is for guys who uh, not only uh, in power, but even if uh, lack of power, but guys who are persistently pushing on a woman, constantly going for a woman who has rejected them. You know what I mean? 
And that will only happen if you have no social acuity and you are extremely desperate and needy. You know, outside of that, you know, you you will be all right. But and again, that's where weak men are. You know, what I mean, there are some guys who who just don't get it and who will constantly push. And it's oh, maybe if I do this or maybe if I do that, she'll like me. And maybe if I do this, she'll go on a date. You know, and again, it's very simple. Have that abundance mindset. You will be all right. There will be other women. Do not be trying to uh, have women in your life who don't want to be in your life. You know, so Me Too movement is that bonus. Some guys are afraid of that, and they don't want to deal with that rejection, you know, because they think maybe it could escalate. So, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all here today. You know, let me know if you agree, disagree with the bar on my list. Let me know if I missed something. You know, let me know if you think what I had on my list was was crazy or not. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments, you know. And, uh, of course, um, as I always say, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, and let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Again, it's not just about dating relationships, health. It's not just about dating relationships. We could talk about health, wealth, and mindset. You know what I mean? we want. I want you guys to be well-rounded individuals you know what i mean not just being able to get women or men whatever you into you know so <clears throat> but yeah um of course if you found value in this video uh let me know uh, by donating any amount that you want any amount is va is fine I, I i find value and i appreciate it uh, and of course i'll see y'all next week and always remember the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.